What's up, Stock Family? It's been a little while. Just know that I've been doing some housekeeping and dealing with life. I think I'm gonna make a separate video about that and what's going on, but I'm excited for the channel. Got some changes coming through. Um, once I get everything planned out, um, the channel's gonna change a little bit, but the message is gonna stay the same. But what happened today with AMC, I think everybody's aware of it. I think there's a lot of um, uncertainty, hate, anger, and discontent. Let's just be honest, the stock has been destroying lives for quite a while. A lot of people are making videos, as always. I haven't made a video on Amy in a while. So we'll just kick this thing off because this is not my opinion. This is straight from the horse's mouth, from the goblet of fire, straight from the movie theater, straight from the man, AA. Um, some people might not have got the email. Some people might not know what to think about what's going on. So let's just get into it, you know how we do. Um, Fellow shareholders, I'm writing to share my thoughts with you about some exciting AMC news. Yeah, it's very exciting. On Friday, the Delaware Chancery Court ruled that we can now immediately move to implement the proposals that were approved in the shareholder vote of March 14th, 2023. I'll try to keep my opinions to myself, the proposals to increase AMC's authorized common shares and do a reverse one for 10 split of the AMC shares, which together will permit the conversion of all outstanding ape units into AMC common shares. Just say real quick, there's a lot of people that are confused about that and what is gonna happen were approved by 72% of AMC shares and 91% of APE units that were actually voted in the March shareholder election. Of those who actually voted, these are very large majorities in favor of our proposed actions, but no large scale vote is ever unanimous. Some of those and the minority continue to this day to be vocal in their opposition. So I want to explain below to you all, those who voted yes, those who voted no, and those who are still on the fence, why I think we are on the right path. First and foremost, AMC should not be able to raise additional equity capital. We can use this access to equity capital to shore up our cash reserves, pay down debt, invest in growth incentives to strengthen our operating profitability and pursue transformative merger and acquisition opportunities. When AMC has the capability to raise much needed cash, those rooting or betting against AMC face much more of an uphill climb. And with the convergence of AMC common shares and ape units, we hope to expect to be able to raise equity capital more effectively, more efficiently, uh, with less dilution <laughs> than when the APE units were trading separately at a significant discount to AMC common shares. Okay, so they have number one, AMC will be more resilient. Were it not for our ability to have raised equity over the past three years, AMC simply would not have survived the pandemic induced decline in the business. Looking forward, the flexibility to raise equity capital at the appropriate times is an absolutely vital tool for any large company and AMC is no exception. Number two, we eliminate capital raising and efficiencies of APE units trading at a significant discount to AMC shares converting APE units to AMC shares results in a single price for all AMC equity. I think we all understand that. 
The single price eliminates the unnecessary higher dilution caused by the lower market price of APE units. For the past full year, for example, to raise cash, AMC could only sell APE units and they could be sold at a great discount to AMC shares with a single equity capital structure. I believe AMC will be able to raise equity capital more efficiently and on better terms in the future. Number three, an improved balance sheet should result over time. The simplification of our equity capital structure will enhance our ability to buy back debt or exchange debt for equity, strengthening our balance sheet if we do so. Number four, the simplifies ownership in AMC, consolidating ownership of AMC into one single class of all shareholders makes it easier for investors to track their ownership positions in AMC and eliminates the added complexity that some brokerages have imposed on holding or trading preferred equity securities. And last but not least, number five, we gain a better opportunity to transform AMC we will be better positioned to invest in growth incentives, including more innovation at our tr theaters and optimizing our theater portfolio by acquiring high performing theater assets. In addition, these actions make it more likely that we can succeed if we were to pursue attractive shareholder value creation opportunities through diversifying and transforming our business. Most of you who actually voted back in the March 14th election agreed with us, but to those of you who saw otherwise then, and who still do now think hard about this, on dilution, all right, here we go. I've read some of this, but I haven't read it all. Some of you fear dilution is a mistake no matter what. You are wrong. To the contrary, sometimes raising money is an absolute imperative. Over the past 12 months, for example, AMC raised $418 million of cash through the sale of APE units as of the most recent June 30th quarter, and AMC had $435 million of cash on hand. Can you imagine how dire our circumstances would have been if we hadn't had the foresight to raise that cash. Companies that run out of money face financial ruin, just ask Cineworld Regal shareholders or ask Bed Bath & Beyond shareholders, oof. But at AMC at the moment, we have a positive market cap and we are so much stronger because we raised money along the way. Doesn't look that strong, does it? All right, keep it to a minimum. On the reverse split, I keep hearing from some of you that the reverse stock split, we are stealing 90% of your shares. If someone takes 10 $1 bills uh, from your left hand, but puts one $10 bill in your right hand, would you be losing 90% of your money? $10 is $10. Whether it is in the form of those of 10 ones or one 10, yes, with the reverse split, the share count reduces. But economically, shareholders will hold the same proportion as they currently do. What happens after that reverse split occurs is, a, is an unknown. The market price of AMC shares could either go up, stay the same, or go down. But that is true right now, too. Bad actors can attack us after a reverse split. They can attack us right now, too. On Monday, August 14th, with the SEC, which details our plans over the next two weeks, that will result in the conversion of the APE units and the trading of a single AMC common share class, I urge you to review the information carefully, including the expected timeline of events and a list of frequently asked questions. Court ruling on Friday marks a significant milestone of AMC, and I would like to express my deepest appreciation for your unwavering support and trust in the AMC leadership team throughout your journey together. Um, really nothing else after that. It's just hopes and dreams after that. Um, yeah, the 
Reverse split is happening. Ape is going bye-bye. You know, a lot of people thought that this wasn't gonna happen. It's happening. Reverse split, uh, I'll keep this very brief. Never seen a good one. I'll just be honest about that. Been part of a couple of them. It's never ended well. I don't expect this one to end or to begin. I, sh I guess I should say begin. Um, you know, as soon as it happens, the stock plummets. That is true of all reverse mergers, all reverse splits that I've ever seen. So I just wanted to read this email that Adam Aaron sent out to all the shareholders to make you feel better. I don't really have any other opinions on it other than it's going to be some more pain ahead. Definitely, you know, the future could always be brighter, but strap up, buckle in, get ready for a ride. Because like it or not, you don't have a choice. You do not have a choice. The court has ruled in favor of AMC. So there you have it. Take that and do with what you will. Keep trading. Stay positive. I'm out.